Hey guys, what's up? We are back here with another video today, and today we are doing our Louisville Notre Dame Week Six College Football Prediction. Uh, so make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below. Help me reach my goal of thirteen or fourteen hundred subscribers by the end of October. Uh, I am about five away from thirteen hundred, uh, so help me hit that goal, uh, and about one hundred and five away from. 1400 like this video if you enjoy it comment all your thoughts and opinions down below hopefully um, we will get some streams out not this week but the following week for Notre Dame and Southern Cal uh, but this week I do have uh, some stuff going on that limits the streaming ability though there will be uh, content and stuff like that coming out all week long. Uh, also, make sure that you check out the website podcast uh, for College Football Roundup as well. So, let's go ahead and get into today's video. So, Notre Dame, Louisville. In uh, Louisville, so it's going to be a difficult game. It's going to be a 7-30 game. And when I say difficult, I mean for both sides. Uh, Notre Dame, uh, to kind of go over both of these teams, uh, when you're looking at Louisville, they're 5-0. and uh, you had a big win against NC State, 13 to 10. Uh, big win being relative, like you beat them uh, on the road and you were able to get the win. Uh, you are you have big wins over Boston College. Uh, you had to beat Indiana. You beat Murray State as well as Georgia Tech. Uh, so you are right now 3 and 0 in the ACC, and Louisville has a big hand. Um, there as Jeff Brom is there in his first year and only one win away from bowl eligibility already. Um, but when it comes down to it, when you're looking at this game, it's going to be a game that I don't think a lot of people expect. I think it's going to be different than some people expect. But let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to start with three keys of the game for the Louisville Cardinals and then make our way to three keys for Notre Dame, and then to our prediction portion of the show as always. So, key number one for Louisville, uh, you got to be able to slow down Notre Dame's run game. you got to make them one-dimensional. Uh, if you want any chance at winning, you got to be able to uh, stop the run as best as you possibly can. I know that is a tall task uh, when it comes to Notre Dame, but at the same time, if you want any chance at winning, you got to have a slower run game for the Irish. Uh, you got to have good tackling uh, and stuff like that. Number two. You got to go in the turnover battle. Uh, Notre Dame has not had very many turnovers this season. Um, I don't think that Sam Hartman has a pick at this moment. Um, I think that he is still um, still has not thrown a pick uh, in six games. Um, so definitely, when you're looking at this Notre Dame team, yeah, he has not thrown a pick. Um, so when you're looking at this team, you gotta you gotta try to win the turnover battle because Jack Plummer, on the other hand, does has does have issues when it comes to uh, throwing picks and it comes to turnovers and stuff like that. Uh, Jack Plummer's had a turnover in basically every single ball game. Um, let's see here, did he have a turnover? I do not believe he had a turnover against Boston College. Uh, he had an extremely good game against Boston College, 18 for 21, 388 yards, five touchdowns, no interceptions. Um, but you got to be able, you threw two picks against NC State, two picks against Murray State, which is concerning, a uh, pick against Georgia Tech, and a pick against Indiana. Uh, when you're looking at these games, uh, six total picks throughout the season. Uh, Notre Dame has one of the best secondaries, if not, in my opinion, personally, it's the best secondary in all of college football with Benjamin Morrison and Cam Hart and Thomas Harper. I just think that this is the best secondary. Uh, when you're looking at it, you can't be making mistakes like that. You can't give Notre Dame free possessions, which is something that Notre Dame has also struggled to do. They have not gotten a lot of turnovers uh, during this season. So um, they have had a lot of pass breakups and stuff like that, but turnovers, not so much. Uh, so when you're looking at this game, uh, you got to win the turnover battle. Third and final reason, uh, third and final key to the game, Jack Plummer has to have a good game. You have to have Jack Plummer on 
playing well and stuff like that. You cannot have him struggling. Uh, if you do, you're going to have a lot of issues uh, when it comes to this Louisville team because I think you heavily rely on uh, Jack Plummer. Obviously, you have a good running back uh, and Jawar jo- uh, Jordan, uh, but at the same time, he was held to 32 yards against NC State. I just think that Notre Dame uh, is going to be able to hold him in check a little bit more um, and by no means is he going to be completely stopped. Um, but I think that this team is definitely in a place in which you need Jack Plummer to have a good game. So now moving on to the Notre Dame portion of the show. Uh, number one, um, you got to run the ball, run it effectively, run it down their throats. Uh, Notre Dame uh, was very inconsistent when it came to the run game against Duke. Uh, you had a team that just simply uh, was not running the ball very consistently. Uh, Audric Estime did not get as many uh, reps slash uh, carries as I probably would have liked him to. Uh, he only got 18. Um, and I think you played well. Uh, he averaged 4.5 yards a carry. Jeremiah Love, 8.8. Uh, and Jabron Payne averaged 3.7, but he only had three carries. Um, so when you're looking at this team, you need to be able to run the ball, run it, milk the clock, slow the game down, or not even slow it down, but just you don't need to. You need to keep the defense off the field uh, and continue to do that. Uh, number two for Notre Dame. Sam Hartman needs a bounce back game. Needs a bounce back game. I need to see Sam Hartman uh, play well. I'd like to see 400 passing. I'd like I'd like to see a great game from Sam Hartman uh, because the last two weeks against Duke and Ohio State, he just hasn't thrown the ball that much. And outside of Mitchell Evans, he really hasn't thrown the ball to anybody. To be fair, in the Duke game, there was no um, there was uh, no Jaden Thomas, uh, no Deion Colsey, uh, and uh, Tobi- and Jaden Greyhouse uh, was severely limited. I am not 100% sure. I didn't see him on I- any snaps. Um, but, yeah, so you're looking at a lot of players um, that particularly that you had your basically, I think, your three best receivers kind of. And le- I guess Chris Tyree could be up in the top three. I think Colsey may be number four. Um, but you were missing a lot of your top wide receivers, so that kind of does suck, but you need to be able to have a better pass game than that. You need uh, to be able to uh, do, uh, you need to be able to control that better. Um, Number three, um, don't make stupid mistakes. Don't make stupid mistakes. Don't turn the ball over. Don't have penalties. Uh, Don't make stupid mistakes. The tackling uh, was atrocious. Uh, absolutely terrible uh, against Duke. Uh, you got to tackle better. Uh, don't make stupid mistakes. Just tackle. Don't have false starts, particularly false starts. Um, don't don't do stupid things. Do the small things well. Fundamentals are winning can win you football games and will win you football games, and they will very much lose them as well uh, if you do not do them. Uh, so now on to the prediction portion of the show. Notre Dame, Louisville, Sunday night, or Saturday night, sorry, Saturday night, 7.30 in uh, Louisville. When you're looking at this game, when you're looking at these two teams, uh, Louisville has a good quarterback in Jack Plummer, has a good running back in Gerard Johnson. But when you look at that NC State game, when you look at how stingy NC State's defense was and how well they were able to play against Louisville, um, I just don't see Notre Dame having as many issues issues when it comes to this Louisville team uh, and Notre Dame last week against Duke it was a little bit of a bounce back uh, game where they struggled or they struggled they dominated they just weren't able to close out drives uh, resulting in two field goals that should have been touchdown drives uh, so when you're looking at this game when you're looking at this Notre Dame team uh, you are really looking at a Notre Dame team that simply needs a big statement W but I don't think that you get as big of a statement W as I particularly like. I do think that Notre Dame does get the win. I think that they're just simply better than Louisville. Uh, when you look at the only comparative game on these two teams' schedules, uh, that would be NC State, a team that Notre Dame beat 45-24, to uh, and Louisville beat 13-10. to uh, I think Notre Dame just has a little bit too much offensive firepower in this game. Score prediction for this one, I am going to go uh, with... 31, 31, 
uh, to 17. 31 17, I think Notre Dame gets a comfortable win. I would like to see more points on the board, but I do think the Irish get a dub heading into the biggest game of the year. I know Ohio State was big, but this USC game, it just means more. It's a rivalry game. It's just what it is. So, that's going to wrap it up today's video. Irish fans, help me out. Hit these two videos down below if you want to check out any of my previous uh, Notre Dame prediction videos. See how I did. Hit the subscribe button up here as well. And as always, have a great day. See you guys. Bye.